What's up guys? So today we're going to use selenium to web scrape and see what the implied forward rate is on the CAD USD. And we're going to use covered interest rate parity for this. And so the first thing we're going to need is the CAD USD spot rate. So we're going to get this using Yahoo Finance and we're going to iterate through to get the most recent quotes. And here I'm arbitrarily doing uh, 2 to 10 for illustrative purposes. We're also going to need CAD and USD LIBOR for the maturity that we're looking at here, which is three months. Unfortunately, I only have access to open source databases. And so I'm going to use Bank of Canada and uh, Treasury for the US, treasury.gov, to get the yield to maturity on zero coupon government debt securities for those two countries. Um, now, this is assuming that the LIBOR treasury spread is zero uh, for three months. This is called the TED spread. Now, that's a big assumption. And so, again, this is for educational and illustrative purposes only to demonstrate the no arbitrage framework and to see a nice example of web scraping. And so let's get started. Boom. And here we're using Chrome WebDriver, which you can download online for free. Boom. Here we're using slxx.write to create an Excel spreadsheet where we're going to populate with our data. Feel free to pause the video at any time to look at the code. All right. Right here, we have the newly created SLSX. We open it up and we see our rates here. Again, we should have used LIBOR if we're a government, if we're a financial institution. Uh, you know, usually LIBOR is notched up or down depending on the credit quality of the financial institution. But, you know, here in this example, we're using uh, government rates, which the big assumption here is that we can borrow and lend at that rate. But suppose that we could and we get an offer, a bid for CAD USD in three months at 1.3. What does this mean? Well, this means, conclusion, that our US dollar is selling rich against the CAD. And so what we want to do is we want to take the opportunity to sell USD against the CAD in the forward market. Forward. So we hit that bid. All right. Now what do we do to cover our gains and hedge our risk? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to buy one US dollar against it. We're going to buy US dollar in general against the CAD. It could be any amount, theoretically, until the, the price corrects. One USD is going to yield, well, if we look here, recall that our rates 0.06% annualized and 0.17% annualized for the loony. This times one plus. 0 0.06 over 100 times 90 over 360. And that's our US dollar balance at the end of the three months. Now for our CAD side, this times the spot rate because we're making a spot transaction of selling CAD. Now obviously this is negative because we're short. Boom. Now what's the interest rate? And again, big assumption that we're a risk-free borrow, which is not the case for me. Boom, 1.7 over 100 times 90 over 360. Boom. That's the Canadian dollar balance. If we multiply by this, boom. 
Now, recall that we locked in the rate of 1.3 CAD USD in three months. So in three months was this many USD, right? And we'll have this many CAD. So what's the difference there? Boom. Essentially, we locked in a no uh, risk-free arbitrage profits of four cents for every U.S. dollar we invest in the strategy. Now, again, this is for illustrative purposes only. Obviously, the rates for borrowing are going to be higher than for the government, for individuals or institutions. But I hope this outlines the no arbitrage framework for valuing FX contracts. And I appreciate your time watching this. And I hope you appreciate mine for making it. Thank you very much.